I am stupid. Dude, what? Wait. Wait. Um. So, yeah, that was funny. I have no idea why, but they already gave me the solution. Like, I don't even need to do this problem anymore. Whoopsies. Why did they give me the solution already? They gave me the correct answer and the solution. I don't even need to do the problem. <laughs> what the heck? Why? That's not how it usually works. Usually they don't do that until you've completely answered it. Wait a minute. Does that mean I don't even need to do this whole assignment? What the heck? Okay, the answer for this one... Do, is this how every quest... I don't think this is how it's gonna be. So cash... Okay, what's this 5400? Retained earnings. 
It's probably because there was no... It would have been the, the balance that I had. It's just that there was no balance there, so... There. Like, seriously, how... how why... They're giving me the correct answer?
Okay, I don't, maybe it was just a glitch or something, because this whole first part of the question, they accidentally gave you the solution before you even had to finish the problem. But that's not the case in this question. Yay, there's not even... So now, how do I do this? Let's see here. Do I know what I'm doing? No. I mean, I could just look in the book for the example. Balance sheet. Wait, this should be pretty self-explanatory. The first thing you want to look, list is common s or stock or something. Crap. What's the first thing you want? Is it capital stock? It's got to be capital stock, right? <laughs> so there's preferred stock here, right? Is it preferred stock and common stock? Please? Huh. See? Now they show you the solution, dude. What? I don't get it. Why? <laughs> Why are they showing you this solution already? Is it because, like, after three attempts, they just show you the solution anyways? Even if you haven't finished it? Um, preferred stock. Stop. Their preferred stock was... Oh, man. This is going to be so annoying. Well, actually, I, I only have to look at this, don't I? I mean, I just have to look at the beginning and then look at to see if, if at any point the preferred stock account changed. Why should I even bother with this? I mean, I could just do the whole thing without even trying and just look at the solution. This is not how it is in real life. It just It's just going to automatically update the numbers. That was me. Wait just a minute, I think um, I was messed up. Uh, the, this 50,000 thing was, was not act the actual amount that was issued, that's just the authorized thing. So anyways, there are 4,000, okay, so... No, nothing, there is nothing at the beginning. The, all I have to do is look at the entries. Preferred stock is 400,000, is that it? That might be it. There's nothing else, it's just 400,000. Common stock is going to be 200,000. Um, that's it, it's literally, that's it. It's too simple that, okay. So. Oh, fun song. I mean, that sounds pretty close to the original, but the, the original is probably better in some weird w way. That was funny. What's the bottom thingy? Total stock or something? Next is something or other. Now what? Paid in capital? Is it paid in capital? Preferred. And treasury. I mean, not treasury. Common. So that's pretty easy. I just have to look up the paid in capital thingy. And there's only one, right? For each. For this whole thing. For, common, for preferred, it's 80,000. And for common stock, it's 120,000. So we have 80,000, and then that's going to be a total of 200,000. So then 
we have a total something. Total of what? Minus like treasury stock or something. We have total... I mean, we already have total capital stock there, so... Total paid in capital? No, we already have... This is total paid in capital. No, apparently both of these plus or uh, both the, the pain capital and excess plus this equals total pain capital so that's going to be eight hundred thousand and then treasury stock is a total treasury stock now how do you do this well, you just look at every time you affected the treasury stock. Now, it's, it's not that complicated. So we have three, six hundred. Then you subtract thirty, six hundred. Get back to zero. Are you kidding me? It's just nothing. There's no treasury stock. Oh my gosh. Right? Oh, okay, apparently it's not treasury stock. I didn't look closely enough. There is no treasury stock because you... Okay, so what's this then? What's this? Retained earnings. Nice song. Where is it? Wait, hold on. Okay, here's the problem. They didn't give you retained earnings. Where is it? Like, you affected the retained earnings right here. <laughs> like, at several points, you did affect the retained earnings, but they didn't give you the beginning balance. Where is it? They told you net income. They didn't tell you the retained earnings. The heck? I guess we're just going to assume there was nothing in it to be start? Is that what we're going to assume? Well, guess what? I'm not going to bother with the solution. I, I, if we assume there's nothing, we we do whatever it, we had affected before. So we... It's literally going to be going into the negative. Like negative 5,400 to start. Where's negative 37,000? Right there. I see where they got it, so I can't be bothered to do it. 133,300. So, we have 933,300. And that took me an hour and 39 minutes because I sat for like a whole hour without doing the question. So, and my goodness, this is sick. So, and is this going to be a thing now where, is this going to be a thing where it just tells you the solution after like three attempts automatically? Well, it took me 28 minutes on OBS, apparently. <laughs> FIFO method? Oh, I hate FIFO. I've done it so many times, I still hate it. But now we're doing it with treasury dot instead of inventory. I hate I oh Oh. Uh.
my knee. Ow. My knee. 15200 13500 and i i was getting this very very confused when you buy treasury stock you lose Therefore, treasury stock is this. And that was easy. Next sold 350 shares. I have 42. So you received 14,700 of cash and the next part is the original selling price of the treasury stock and that's where it's FIFO and whatnot so you have 350 so do you have to seriously take 300 times this and then 50 times this I, I mean that would make sense right you do 300 times 45 plus 50 times 40 that should work 15500 debit is going to be now, I guess it's retained earnings. Oh, wait a minute. Did they have a balance in the paid in something? No. So, therefore, retained earnings. And that has to be right, gosh dang my life. You gotta be kidding me. How? I don't even have the right account name. What is that? How is that not right? I don't even, I don't have the right number here. Okay, what the heck? What? Is there some kind of, wait, is that like the notification for a Zoom meeting or something? No, it's not. I did FIFO. Oh wait, never mind. I did LIFO accidentally. <laughs> Never mind, it's all going to be at $40. It's going to be 300 times 40. 12. But I still have the wrong account name, so gosh dang it. Well, it's because it's, it's actually going to be credit instead. So if, when you have a credit, then what do you do? To, when it's a credit instead, what do you do? It's not a gain, but instead it is a, is it paid in capital and excess? Probably. What the heck? Oh, funny. That's funny. That's funny. I did not just try to close word, although I, fine, you can close it. No, I don't want to keep that last item. Dang it. Thanks a lot. That's very helpful. I have two clips down here.
stop. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> That's definitely what I did. I definitely opened Muse's door. That's what I meant to do. It didn't even open a tab. What on earth? So there, that should be correct. And now it's actually not giving me the answer key for this, weirdly. Oh, yeah, I think after a certain number of attempts, it just gives you the answer key. And I, was, I still got the wrong number. How? How? How is that the wrong number? I did 40 times 300. Oh, 350, not 300. No, 350. I keep I, I did 300 again. It's 350 times 40, which is 14,000. And then there's going to be 700. Fine, jeez. And then again, it's going to be the exact same. Well, not quite. For D, it's 38 times 110. Four. Four one eight zero. So. And then, treasury stock. So we already used up 300 of this. There's only 30 of this left. So we have 30, right? Because we used up most of this. You don't you have to keep track of this the full amount of this that you used? You used 300, 50, so there's only 30. So 30 times 40 plus um, 80 times 45. And then watch as it's wrong. It's not. Minus 4180, 620. And the paid in capital was about 700, so we can do the entirety at paid. And it should be done. So. Only one left cheese. So, 
is this something I never realized before about these assignments that if you do a certain amount of attempts, it'll just automatically give you the solution. Thanks for sending me the email notification. Dude. Oh, that was from my other email. Ah, uh, look at all this stuff. There's no list of accounts. What? Because there's no balance. There's no journal entries. That's why. Balance sheet information. I mean, it almost is like journal entries, except instead of journal entries, they're just telling, doing this. Declares and pays a 50, per, a 50 cent per share dividend. When you declare the dividend, when you... So, it's going to be 50 cents times the number of share. Is it just common stock? It's gotta be. Ah, oh, great. I have to figure out the number of... Four thousand times 0.25 is going to be one thousand dollars common stock. No! One thousand dollars of cash. Decrease. I'm going to check it already. <sighs> Somehow I still got it wrong. What the heck? Wait, is this right? Apparently these two are already correct. They already gave me all the, all of the dollar amounts that changed. That are that are nothing. That are zero. Oh my gosh, that's funny. How did I get this wrong? Twenty five cents. There's four, four thousand shares of stock, because I did twenty thousand divided by five. How is that not right? Come on. How? How? Never mind, it's 50 cents, not 25. Where'd I get 25 cents? <sighs> and eventually they're just gonna show the solution. So. So. Common stock, well, if it's a zero percent, that means every single one that's zero is no effect. That means I'm basically cheesing my way through most of this question. Oh my goodness. Thanks. That was too easy. You should have made you write them write zero instead. Well, that just completed a bunch of stuff. Now, we just have to finish this. So, decreased, decreased by 2,000. We have finished A, we now have to get through to E. And we already did E, so we only have three left. <laughs> we did E by doing nothing. So, issues stock dividend. When you issue a stock dividend, 
you are issuing dividends. And but instead of receiving cash, you wait a minute. No. Instead of instead of paying cash to the people, you just give them stocks. Okay, so you get them stocks for free. It's basically like you're giving them stocks for free. <laughs> so, common stock increase. Oh. Oh. So 10%, what is the 10% of? Ten percent. I don't remember what that means. Gosh dang it. I already showed you the solution. I don't feel like trying to figure it out myself, so I'm just going to see what they do for a 10% stock dividend. They take the number of stocks times 10%. And then you multiply it by $5, which is the par value. And that gets you this common stock okay so 1000 so 10 percent of of the good amount trying to find value mm. I didn't memorize the number. And, and 14, so it was 4,000. Dude, there's no way that's right. That can't be right. That's like barely anything. Wait, did I really do that correctly? 4,000... No, it's not. <sighs> Times... Point one. They issued 400 shares. Therefore, it's 400 times 14... Is fifty six hundred and then it's gotta be like three thousand six hundred. And please be right. <laughs> that was funny. We only have two more to go. And then here's the thing. Apparently if it's more than a 25% stock dividend, you don't you don't deal with the difference between them. You, you only do it at par value. So you actually just the retained earnings is going to be the same as the common stock or something. So So, so you just don't even deal with the, you don't even care about $15 per share. You just do 30% of 30 now here's the fun thing, people. Now don't you do 30% of the new amount of stocks? 
because the now there's a 4,400 stocks times 0.3. That times 5, 6,600. Is this, wait, is this it? Are we done? No, that's, that's the second to last one. Of course I got the wrong number. Come on. What did I do wrong? They say it's 6,000? They took the original amount. I took the new amount. But this makes no sense. When you issue a stock dividend, don't you increase the number of stocks? I'm confused. You're increasing the amount of stocks. I don't understand this. They're just taking the original four thousand. Don't you also? Don't you have to also take the, these four hundred additional stocks? You issued more stocks basically by doing this. Uh, they took the original four thousand times thirty percent times five six thousand. Property dividend. Wealth and distribute property dividend, therefore decrease. If you are um, distributing a property dividend. Wait just a second. If it's a property dividend. Do you still decrease retained earnings? One share of equity investments for every two shares. So the property that was given out was shares of stock in another company. It gave one share for every two shares. So that means they gave out 5,000 shares and they gave out 5,000 shares of So five thousand, so fifty thousand. Please, come on. Dang it! Is there fifty thousand anywhere in, in that problem? No, there is no 50,000 anywhere, so I was completely wrong. Gosh dang it. Where did I get that anyways? I took 5,000 times 10. Because that means they issued, they, they sold, no, they distributed 50, 5,000 shares and those shares were each worth $10, right? So it's 50,000. There should be a 50,000 in there. How is it not? What? What is this? How does this have anything to do with it? How is D anything to do with this? So 
total assets and retained earnings. Two thousand times six. Wait, I was messed up. I'm, I misread the question. Are we just going to assume that they still hold four, still have four thousand debt shares after all this? Four thousand. So two thousand shares times ten is twenty thousand. So the twenty thousand is the fifty thousand that I was messing up. It was twenty thousand dollars. And then par value. Yeah, but the twenty thousand dollars should be somewhere. I can't be bothered. Twelve thousand. Or maybe the twenty thousand is one of those three things. This is funny. Nope, it's not. He said we could skip number three, so I'm done. I am so prepared for my quiz, Nod. I am so prepared for my quiz. They sent an email or an announcement? It was an email. Well, so the solution to the problem would be, well, I don't know if that would be a solution. Like, just make it worth 10 points. I don't know how you would fix this. Now it's going to show as 10 out of 12, even though I actually don't have 10 out of 12. It shouldn't be 10 out of 12. Well, guess what? I was about to say, it's not a productive use of my time to go in there and then just copy the solution for question three so I can get the full credit because it's a waste of time. But I'm about to waste the rest of my day doing other unproductive stuff anyway, so it wouldn't matter. That's fine. Bye.